Yes, I think the 3D project is very useful. We have a good number of people that were amputated due to the war. And then now, due to the advent of, 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 of non-communicable diseases, like um, diabetes and um, road traffic accidents, um, children born with congenital malformations and all those stuff. So that all adds to the huge number of amputations that we see in Sierra Leone. In 2018, 3D Sierra Leone was founded in collaboration with the 3D Lab in the Radboud University Medical Center in the Netherlands. The aim of this research is to improve prosthetic facilities for low-income countries. In only three steps, we manufacture the prosthetics. First, we 3D scan the patient's leg or arm with the 3D scanner. Then we make the design on the computer. And finally, we 3D print the prosthesis with a 3D printer. When we finish to print this one, we we'll try to couple up it together with the feet. So after we finish to couple up the feet, we can also hand over the prosthetics to the patient so Idrissa can cheat the, the patient how to work. I teach them how to walk and I teach them to walk slowly in the beginning. But as time goes on, I learn them to do faster. Some lost their hands, some lost their foot due to the road accidents. So this is why we are here to help our people. And they are happy, really. They appreciate the projects. I'm also happy for the prosthetics because now I can walk little, not like the first time, but for now it's better for me. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> My dreams will be, um, I want to see that every um, person with disability, especially amputees, have access to quality, affordable and prosthetic device in the future.